Hi, welcome back to Musician's Edition Theory Lesson. Today, we're gonna learn what 6 8 time signature is and how to count it. You ready to learn? Let's go. All right, now 6 8 time. It's kind of scary when we first see it, but when we learn about it and we practice about it, it's really not so bad. All right, so six eighths time. What does it mean? It's totally different from four four, isn't it? So we have to remember our top number is how many beats are in the measure. So we now have six beats. Seems like a lot. All right, so when we count our six beats, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And your conductor will only give you two beats, so it'll look just like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're doing one and four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those are kind of like your emphasized numbers, is one and four. So it's gonna be counting one and two. One, two, one, two. Now we have to remember the bottom number represents which note gets the beat. So now we have eight. That means our eighth note now gets the beat. That now changes the value to every single note. So let's take a closer look at what it means. So now the eighth note is the one that gets the beat. The quarter note now gets two beats. The dotted quarter note is worth three, and the dotted half note is now worth six. Basically, everything is almost double. All right, so now when we're looking at some exercises to count, let's take a look at this first exercise here. This is from our Rubank Elementary method for flute. So here we can see that we have a lot of eighth notes. Now remember, the eighth notes gets the beat. So this is one, two, three, and remember the dotted quarter note is worth three. So that's worth four, five, and six. So that's how that goes. Let's look at one that's a little more complicated here. So remember, for this one, the quarter note is now worth two. So let's just count these three measures here, okay? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, does that make sense? Let's look at some with a couple rests here. They're going to work the same way as our valued notes. Because remember, they're just the counterparts, you just rest on them. So let's take a look at this exercise. All right, so I'm not gonna count for the rests. So it's going to be one, three, four, six. One, three, four, six. One, three, four, six. Now, why don't we take a listen and a look at some examples we have that's 4-4 four, four versus 6-4. So you can kind of see and hear a little bit of a difference between the 4-4 and the 6 8 time. Now, if we're looking at the time signature, that's the closest is 3-4 times. After all, if you divide this by two, that's what you get. So why don't we take a look at the differences between 3-4 and 6 8 All right, so this is a little bit more challenging, but the main difference is the number of beats in every measure. So I know a lot of the confusion between the two time signatures comes from the fact that both time signatures can hold six eighth notes in each measure, right? So when we're looking at three, four time, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And the way it's counted is one and two and three and. When it comes to six eighth times, we still can hold six eighth notes, but now it's counted 
One, two, three, four, five, six. So even though both can hold six eighth notes per each measure, it's the counting and the feel. It's such a big difference in how it is. So let's take a look at some examples of six eighth time versus three four time. Can you hear and feel the difference between six eighth times? Crazy, right? So just remember, six eighth time, six beats in the measure, eighth note gets the beat. And though it seems really confusing right now, a good trick to just help get you there is when you're first handed your sheet music and you see six eighth time, just go through and write in all your counts. It'll help tremendously. Also, in some of our practice alongs, we're starting to work on six eighth times, so make sure you practice along, because the more practice you get, the more it's gonna make sense. If you have any further questions about six eighth times, please let me know in the comments. I wanna make sure it's well understood. Also, before you go, I wanna make sure you hit that subscribe button, the like button, and the notification button, so you don't miss any of our lessons. Thanks for joining me, and until next time.